Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my YourMC Let's Play. So, remember in the that uh that path across the middle ones of that I was talking about in the previous episode? Well I kinda forgot to tell you one thing that I was going to actually that I was actually planning on building in between episodes. And yeah, I've actually went ahead and built it. From down here it's kinda suffers from what the rest of the base is so far suffering from that overuse of stone bricks but I don't know I kind of I, I kind of like it I kind of like it if we go over here this is pretty much uh these doors will eventually lead to a way to get in and out of the base easily rather than using a ladder but yeah as you can see we have like a decent looking entrance here you know uh, I, I'll, I'll say this and so I'll, I'll say this I more so like the shape of how everything looks here than uh actual choice of blocks that I used, but yeah, this is pretty much it. It's a path so we, we can get from one side of the trench to the other, and the easily. And of course, more of these over time will be built in different locations. So yeah, that's cool, I suppose. Now with that out of the way, and so what is this thing I've been working on? Well, uh, do you guys remember when I said I ended up I, I'm going to have like a tr item transport system that will transport all items to like a central part of the base. Well, and so I pretty much started that right here. And uh, this is kind of just a prototype. I was just like seeing, you know, how this would look and everything, and so on. And you know what? I kind of, I kind of like it. I I'm not certain. We'll have to see kind of like what I decide to do with the surrounding blocks and so on. But if there's one thing I really think I should change is like change out the glass for black stained glass. I really think that would fit in better with this and so on. It almost gives the illusion that there is no glass here. I think. If I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, I probably would because you've got a lot of dark colors work working with uh there. But yeah. Anyways, uh uh when it comes to the smelting system Pretty much, um, if you remember, we had an issue with, you know, items not evenly getting distributed. I still have yet to f figure out a fix for it. I've added a repeater into the system, and that still hasn't done anything. I haven't adjusted it, though. Uh, here's, like, the repeater. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe if I increased it, it would help the system. I'm not exactly sure. If any of you guys got any ideas on that, then you can be sure to let me know. But, yeah. Anyways... Today, we are going to be working on the storage room portion. Uh, previous episode, I was planning to do it, but let's just say the smelting system just took up and the, pretty much the entire episode. And yeah, and on, also on a side note, I've been noticing that yes, these episodes have been ten, ha, have tend to go on for quite long and so on. And really, that was never my original intention. And my original intention was to keep these videos about running at about 25 minutes but they've been creeping up on 30 and 35 so yeah sorry about that but anyways the plan for this place is I'm thinking right down here in the middle we're going to have an enchantment table and then we're going to have like a system you know how you can have an item frame then a compare uh, and like on a block with an item in it and then a compare to behind that and you can get a different redstone signal depending on uh Depending on like uh, which way the item in the item frame is turned and so on, we can and pretty much I was thinking we could go ahead and use that to make a basic system of where we could have the bookshelves up or down for this. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, I, I think that that should work out quite nice. You know, we got this half slab floor right here, which I feel should work. We have this thing like in the center, and then kind of around it, we should have sort of a triangle shape. A chest coming in on that side and then going on out on that side we, got, we would have to dig out this wall some but yeah that's my basic idea for this storage room not exactly sure on how I'm gonna t deal with the looks but I'm pretty sure it'll come to me after I get in the basic shape of it I suppose well I have gotten the enchantment set up all functional I'm still not a hundred percent sure on the aesthetical style I'm going to choose but as you can see here's pretty much the redstone I have an item frame up here with a torch in it that will probably change later on to something else I don't know what I'll put in there but I'll probably you know and actually in my test well I just I had like an actual bookshelf in there I think I might actually do that because that could be kind of cool 
But anyways, you know, behind there we got a comparator to read the signal and so on, running into a block, which below it has a redstone dust meta powers, which runs into, you know, a block that runs into this and so on. And pretty much what we're doing is we're making sure the signal strength doesn't go down any, because we need the pre-existing signal strength for all of this, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's probably why I don't do tutorials anymore, because I'm terrible at explaining stuff. But anyways, we go ahead and turn that item right there. As you can see, we get these first two pistons and so on to uh, help us give get higher level enchants if we so wish. We can keep on going ahead and doing that. And yeah, don't know how much use this will actually get, but uh, it, it's cool all the same and so on. But yeah. Now, one thing when it comes to this that I'm still on the fence about is how do I decorate the outside area of it? Because if we could just go ahead and put these slabs here, you can see that kind of look, that looks terrible actually. I'd say that looks really bad. And so on with, you know, these super dark slabs next to this oak. But, yeah, you know what? Maybe spruce, maybe spruce. Do we got any spruce, um... Yes, we do. I'm actually going to try spruce here because perhaps they'll give us, you know, a proper, a nice, like, looking transitional block. Let's go ahead and place these down right there. You know, and I, I think it can work. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on this. I, I'm almost thinking anything I do here due to, you know, some restrictions. Due to like the restrictions in the area I got to work with, it's all just gonna look bad. Hmm. Um, I guess. Well, you know, one thing is I could move this down all by one block, and then you know have like a stair, replace like the slab with a stair and so on, going down, and that could give it a better-ish look. Maybe I'm not certain, but anyways, let's see. How does this look with everything raised up? If it's not terrible, but I don't know. I don't know. Well, it has been a bit since I've recorded the last clip, and I've decided to go ahead and actually lower this thing down by one block. And I think that I, I think that all works. I have to say, you know, get lowering it all down like that really makes it work and allows this. Uh, what is it? I forget. Uh, the dark. Yeah, the dark oak slabs here to not look so out of place. And as you can see, I have added the bookshelf in the item frame. I don't know if I said I was going to do that or not. Uh, yeah, because, you know, usually I end up try trying to record a clip and I keep on stuttering or, um, or doing what I'm doing now. And that is, you know, failing to construct sentences and so on and actually say stuff. But yeah, anyways, if we turn this, of course, this all works as it should. And yeah, we can even see the pistons exposed there a bit. I decided to leave it that way. I actually kind of like it that like that. And one thing is, you know, a, a little bit of in interesting information is uh, originally with my base, well, one one of the design plans I had with my base was a possible sort of, I almost would say industrial kind of look, and where redstone would where redstone all over the place would actually be exposed, but it'd be exposed in a sort of way that would look, I don't know, you know, good in a sense, but yeah. So I guess it's a little bit of that and of leaking through into this, but you know, it's a little detail and I think it, I think it actually looks good. I don't think it looks bad or anything, but yeah. Another thing I've been trying out is, you know, for the anvils, where they're gonna go, we got right here, we, of course we got a crafting table. My goodness, I, wherever I go, I always find myself crafting something that requires a crafting table. So, I really want to make sure I have tons of these around the base. But, yeah, this little area right here, where we would have an anvil, we could potentially have an our anvil on top of it. I'm actually not 100% sure about how I, I like or dislike the look of this. Uh, the ceiling's a little bit low, but I more so see it as ceiling's low here, but, you know, gets raised up in L and other uh, places but yeah anyways for now I'm actually just going to go ahead and you know it's it's actually late at the moment and I'm just gonna go ahead you know sleep on this and you know mess around with it a bit and you know trying to come up with something a little bit 
better, I suppose. And you can kind of tell, you can kind of tell I'm getting quite tired because it's really hard for me to try and talk and so on. Yeah, prime example right there. Anyways, guys, I will see you in a second. Well, you know, a little bit. I'm not even going to get into this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and think of something and I'll get back to you. Well, it is a new day, and I have given some thought, and I have even built some of the storage room here, and the other side of this place for the anvils and so on. And, yeah, now that I've kind of slept on it and so on, I'd actually say I quite like this. And I, and I really quite like this. You know, it adds a little bit of color and so on, but doesn't look out of place and so on. Yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but, you know... I, I really do like it. As you can see over here, I'll go ahead and put down a torch so you guys can see. I, I really do need to get like a light source in the ceiling here or something. But pretty much I built half of the storage room right here. And I'm guessing this half is... Uh... Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted by people messaging me. Um, pretty much this half of the storage room, my plans are to store like enchanted books. Uh, you know, and ar armor and weapons and likely. And you know what? One thing I forgot... To really think of one thing I didn't really think about is armor sands, so we may actually make use of those. I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, armor sands are cool and all, but I'll, I think I'll just store my stuff in chests and so on. I'm not too much against it doing that. I, I don't know, uh, I don't know, but anyways, uh, probably pretty much that's all that's left to kind of really settle on is the roof design, which I'm thinking is probably just gonna be just like this roof where we got like you know a little bit of some bricks right there at the edge and so on then these you know slabs along with the lo logs here so yeah i'm thinking that may be what we do i not really 100 percent certain i'm pretty much just experimenting as i go and if there's something i don't like i just tear it down and try again and so on so yeah i'm gonna go ahead get to work on the roof here and see if i can kind of finalize this sort of design, then once that's done, I'll mirror it on the other side. And then we'll have our storage room. Ah, it will be so nice. Because our old storage room is overflowing. Oh boy. Well, there we go. I have put in the roof here, and I gotta say, you know, this all looks fine around here. I, really, I like this part, but this part with uh, no sort of support beams going across because, well, you know, no two of these, like, wood pillars meet up does look a little bit weird i don't know hmm I, don't, I guess there's not really much i could do about it i could have like one come over anyways and it doesn't attach to it just goes over but i don't know it's not really a big deal breaker since when i come in here i'm not really looking at the ceiling i'm looking straight ahead of me and looking at the signs so i'll soon be next to the chest uh showing what everything is here so yeah now did i hear Yes. Get out of here, chicken. Chickens are annoying because they just lay eggs all over the place. And then you end up picking up the eggs, which you don't want to pick up. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, when it comes to the roof and the... Uh, well, the roof. When it comes to the ceiling part and the, uh, this part of the room, I'm actually not really quite sure how I like it. I mean, one thing is it's just so dark that you can barely see the shape of it and everything just kind of looks meh. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that and see what what else I could do here that would look good. But speaking of lighting or sort of, uh, when it came to this area I decided and like I originally put in a little side light right here, but I was just well not a side light, but you know, a, a light source right there, like a redstone lamp. And while it was nice and so and so on it didn't light up everything that I needed to, so as you can see I have added so as you can see, I have added a redstone lamp under here. That is under every single one of these chests and so on, as you can pretty much see. And it provides just enough lighting. It's not too much, not too little, and I think it works out quite well. So, yeah. When it comes to the storage portion of the storage room, I'd have to say I'm quite satisfied with it. And, I'm, we, and I think we'll go ahead and we'll be mirroring it over on this side pretty soon. It's just the center part I'm not too sure about. I'm sure I'll think of something, though. Well, I have mirrored the storage room on the other side, and actually, I didn't exactly mirror it because 
really this side is where I'm planning to jo to store a lot of like resources like such as blocks and well you know mob drops and other materials and so on rather than you know the swords and armor and so on and enchanted books and tools and things of that nature over there so I decided to go ahead and actually make this back part a little bit wider and fit in a few more sets of chests here so that'll give us a little bit more swords and so on it's not perfectly symmetrical with the other side of course and so on but really I, I really don't want to get too hanged up on symmetry because really when you when you start to get hanged up on symmetry it's it, it kind of limits sense of the possibilities and the things you can really do so I don't really want to have symmetry be a limitation of you know of uh, of what we build here and so on anyways as you can see for here for the roof um, you know well I got the roof in but right here I was able to actually have a support beam right here since he's uh, to kind of almost saved supports meet up but yeah there is one thing I am concerned about and that is uh, how am I gonna end off this path right here hmm it is, it is kind of a tr tricky question I'm thinking maybe I could just continue pulling over these chests uh, as far as I'll go right here and just call that the end of the path you know what now that I think about it that's probably the best best thing to do yeah I think it'd work out just fine. Anyways, uh, one thing I really want to do and so on is get a nice special entrance built here. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead, do some experimenting, and get back to you once I got uh, an entrance right here. And perhaps once I've also fixed up this wall over there. Well, it didn't take too long to clean everything up in here and make it all look nice. As you can see, the ceiling's all in place and so on. Uh, got a few extra support beams and if we come out here this is what I've just chosen like for the entrance if yeah gr for one it's all made out of stone bricks but I kind of like the shape of it I don't know I don't know my, my guess is this entrance that entrance and the other eventual to to be built entrance slash exit are probably all gonna get into like uh, re remade a bit into as uh, as I figure out how I'm going to make like the rest of this area in here look because I'm still on the fence about how I'm gonna make the rest of this area look exactly but yeah anyways if we go into here you can see there is sort of a problem over here it wasn't so noticeable because there were other light sources but as you can see because I got torches up there and it's not just solid blocks you can see like a uh, lights kind of you know shining through here and so on and illuminating into the some bricks there not too sure about how I feel about that um, it kind of looks bad but at the same time um, te you know it's you can technically kind of see it on the supports we got going across here on the logs and so on and I think it looks good it had shone some light on something that you know it would be normally really hard to see over here I've added some chests and actually I forgot to end off this path. How do I want to end it off? I guess I'll just end it off like that. Yeah. Just gonna be boring. But, yeah. Anyways, so now we got tons of freaking sewage in here. And, yeah. Before, um... So yeah, with the sewage room done, I'm thinking that's gonna be it for this episode, everyone. <laughs> Uh, in between episodes, I will of course go ahead and transfer all my items down here, you know, get everything organized and so on. And in the next episode, well, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do in the next episode. Not at all, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Hmm. I, I'm thinking maybe we'll build a slime farm, but then again, I need to figure out a... I need to find a good slime farm design and so on that I have the resources to build. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, until next time, I will see you all later. Bye. Uh, I love this enchanting setup. Look at that. that even, it even looks good with it all raised right there. My goodness. Really like it.